My name's Rusty Sutton. I'm the redneck boat guy. I build two-cylinder racing outboard boats. I build the props to go on them, and we also sail a 33-foot catamaran named See Y'all Later. Hope you enjoy the channel. All right. Well, I'm going to continue on the toothpick this morning. I uh, talked about that I want to cut a groove into that, and I took my good little one off. It's uh, well, I was just cutting wood, because I know I'm going to be into at least some staples and maybe probably some brass nails up in here. Let's see what we can do with it. working pretty good uh, starting along that bottom edge non trip was broke even here uh, from the impact so got to work on that a little bit all right see if we can't continue this on a little bit Yeah, that's cutting pretty good, kind of right on the line. I see a nail right there. I'll go ahead and pull that out. Uh, I'm glad I used my old uh, old blade, and it's still cutting all right. Let me see if I can get that sucker out of there. Yeah, those little ring shank nails. Buddy, they do the job. I think was holding on in there. Yeah. Alright. See about making the slot a little wider. pretty close I think for a fit up again I'll get in there and scratch on it to kind of level it up make it a little bit more fair probably get in there with a file later on and really try to tune it up good all right got it a groove all groovy man I believe a board will fit in there just fine yeah and I can find whatever I angle want, and I'll put thick and epoxy in there. Yeah, I like it. You can see how it was cupped out a little bit right there. Uh, you can see how this was cupped. So you still got a little bit of paint right there, so. I'll sand that off, but that'll give me a good surface to put my new little transom piece on there for the double non-trip. Well, I came in the house working on the plans for the non-trip, my angles and all of that business. So I brought my uh, paint booth in with me. This is what I used to uh, paint the little derby car, but I thought that'd be good to start with. And I kind of been playing with some different ideas and angles. I drew a star and I know what a star and measurement looks like. Anyway, I've been kind of doing some ideas here and I think I know kind of what I want to do. I'm going to see if I can trace it on this paper. I know I'm going to be about 5 8 inch up and I can see that underneath. Got to figure out which one of those lines though. <laughs> they ended up using a change the angle several times go to that point and to this point and 
to this point. This little scale drawing is going to be very helpful. What it'll do is uh, I'll get it drawn out for the new non-trip and the framing under it and it's drawn to scale so I'll go out to the uh, shop here in a minute and lay it up on the boat and it'll give me a better understanding of what I need to do for the next process in uh, getting it put together. About like this. Something like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put an angle on this bottom here. So that if the water hits it, it'll be like a another non-trip. But realistically, all this is is a place where, you know, it's legal to make a lifting rail to where when you're at the back of the boat, we got to lift them up to start them. You got a little bit of a lip there that you can grab a hold of and lift it. I think you can go like three-quarter wide by an inch and a half or something. But I'm not going to make that big. I just need a little something where your fingers can hold on. Anyway, I'll add that on later on. So, what that ended up being, I think, is uh, this one is 15 degrees. The initial non-trip. And I went up 5 eighths of an inch. To get me some height. And then I went two and a half inches out and I think that one ended up being 25 degrees and that of course is to the outside of plywood so I'll have to figure cutting it back however much I'm gonna put on all right we're back out at the boat I got my little paper here let's see what it's gonna look like see if I got it right if I put that on that peak up there and this on the outside of the wood down here, that's matching up pretty good. That's that's the right height, the right height. And now you can see the old non-trip, right, in the dark versus the new non-trip design. It's going to put my peak quite a bit higher than that. And it's going to give me much shallower angles in here and in here so that it'll jump a bigger wave. I never did plan on uh, going round and round with it, but uh, since we had the opportunity to rebuild the right side, <laughs> uh, let's go with this and see what happens. I I'm sure it'll be better off. We'll either put this on there, the little lifting rail or, or not, I don't know. All right, now I can cut, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing what I need to do now. I need to cut some more of that plywood off of there because that's going to be replaced with new bottom and run that out through here and then over here I just need to trim that up to that line and back down so I'll have to add a piece here and there it'll just be a small little corner piece here right there and then up here from here out and up so it'll be two wedges basically that I need to add to make the transom bigger.